Hey there, Sumidian here, and welcome back to Morrowind. The last time we talked with Uncle Crassius and became the Hortator of House Slalu, and now we are the Hortator of all three of the great houses uh, that exist in the vanilla game. You don't have to do anything about House Dress or House Enderil or any of that jazz. We're the Hortator of the three important ones. So we have completed the fourth trial or fifth trial one of those two and now for the other trial that we need to currently do we need to become we need to be named the Nerevarine by the four Ashlander tribes we have already been named Nerevarine by the Urshalaku the ones who have been helping us for a good portion of our journey and now we've got three more we got the Ahamusa the Zainab and the Urbanimson. So today we're going to start with these. Uh, the first one we're going to go to is this one, the Urbanimson, because it's relatively close to a fast travel point. So let's go back to Aldrun and make our way there. The annoying thing about these tribes in the middle of nowhere, they don't have, like, fast travel points to them. They don't have boats or silt striders or mages guilds. So I gotta take the long way. Walk. Some sort of peasant. So I believe the fastest way to get to this place is to take the Mage's Guild to Wolverine Hall, and then from Wolverine Hall, just water walk to the southwest. We will make it to our destination. Uh, as I mentioned, like, 20 episodes ago, or whatever, when I first started this portion of the main quest, the reason I'm trying to rush mm. it is because while you're in this portion of the main quest, the Glory Tribunal Temple is really mad at you and won't speak with you, which doesn't matter too much. For how I'm playing, like, I'm not a member of the temple, and I'm not really using their services all that often. But it does feel bad to have some random people hate you for no reason, so... I've been trying to rush this portion of the main quest. Get it out of the way. So that the temple doesn't hate me anymore. And then once I'm finally named Portator and Nerevarine of all these people... Then I can focus on other things, like maybe I'll do some expansion stuff, or maybe I'll work on the Thieves' Guild. Maybe I'll finally join the Morag Tong. So many possibilities of things that I could be doing. Isn't that exciting? So, we were given warnings of a few of these camps. Uh, this one, I believe the warning was they're all like beefy Oonga Boonga warrior types, and that the only person that would probably give me the time of day is their wise woman. I think that was this one, maybe that's this one, or this one, I don't remember. It's been several episodes, because we got distracted by the Telvanni quest. there. It's not the camp. It appears to be some sort of Daedric room. Ow. Ow. I gotta break my kneecaps so often. Here we are, we have arrived in the Ura Benimson camp, the second of the Ashlander tribes. Hello. You are the Outlander who claims to be the Nerevarine. You'll find no welcome here, I'm afraid. 
We know about the prophecies. Our Askan and Gulakan say they are foolish superstition. There will be trouble if you speak with them. Perhaps you should speak to our wise woman, Manorai. Do you have something to say? Okay, so generally, if you, you try and enter someone's yurt without their permission, they get mad at you. Do you have something to say? This is the wise woman. Under sun and Lander, we greet you warmly. Uh, let me see if I can convince someone to give us permission to come in. You are the outline who claims to fulfill the Nereverine prophecies. What do you want? Nobody cares about that. You just make us tired. Go away. Why do you bother us? We don't like you. Go Wealth away. Beyond measure, Outlander. Okay, do all these say the same things? Yep, yep. I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'll save and see if she yells at me. I am Monarai, wise woman of the Arab and Nimsum. You are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nereverine prophecies. Do you need my services or do you seek my counsel? I do seek your counsel, actually. I warn you, be wary of Ashkan, Ulith, Paul, and his supporters. They all hate outlanders and have nothing more than to kill them and loot them. They do not respect custom or hospitality, and they think nothing of killing unarmed men, women, or children. They are bad men and bad leaders, and you should fear them. Ulath Paul is always in his yurt, protected by his bodyguard, Gulakan Ahaz. I am just a weak woman, and I am sure you would know best, but I would kill Ahaz first, the weaker of the two. And if I had secret magics and powers, I would use them to preserve me while I defend against two enemies at once. Alright. Ahaz is Ulath Paul's faithful bodyguard. He is not so strong or skilled as Ashu A, ah, but whether you see Ulath Paul, you will also see Ahaz. If you fight Ulath Paul, you must also fight Ahaz. Who is Ashu Ahe? Ashu Ahe is a great fighter, the most strong and experienced of the Arabimsum. He wears enchanted armor and boasts that none of the Arabimsum can defeat him, not even Ulath Paul. You wish to be named Arabimsum Nereverine? Never. Not while Ashkan, Ulath Paul, and his war loving Arabimsum live. They all hate Outlanders and are proud and haughty and will never suffer an Outlander to rule them. You would be Nereverine of the Arabimsum. You must kill Ulath Paul and his supporters, the Golkans Ahaz, Ranabi, and Ashu Ahe. Then you must help me make peace-loving Urbinsum. Gulakan Hamamu are Ashkan. Ashkan Hanamu could then name you Urbinsum Nereverine. But before anything else can be done, you must first eliminate Ulath Paul and his supporters. Then you should come speak with me and we'll discuss further how you might be named Urbinsum Nereverine. Okay. So I gotta kill some people. Par for the course. Uh, who's this guy? Renabi is mean and solitary. He is cunning, but he relies too much on the power of his ancestors' enchantments. Not so strong, but beware, he bears a poisoned blade. And who is the other person? Okay, these are the three people I need to kill. Along with the Ashcan himself. Under the previous Ashcan, Hanamu's father, Erinamu, the Arabimsum grew bold and arrogant, confident in their strength of arms. Now Ashkan, Ulith Paul, and his champions have become cruel and violent, and our people live in fear. I am of the peace-loving Arabimsum, and I wish that Aram Amu's son, Han Amu, might become our new Ashkan. But we are weak, and Han Amu could never challenge Ulith Paul, let alone all of his supporters. So how many of these peace-loving ones are there? I am of the peace-loving Arabimsum. We only wish to live and hunt as we have in the past, and do not wish to anger our neighbors by waiting, raiding and warfare. But Ashkan, Ulath Paul, and his supporters are strong and sure of themselves. They have grown rich by raiding and fighting, and they will not be ruled by the counsel of their wise woman. So this guy is the one that you want to be the leader, huh? Han Amu is the son of our former chief, Aaron Amu, but he is nothing like his father. His birth gives him a strong claim to lead the tribe, but many of the virtues required by an Ashkan, he lacks only three things. Strength, courage, and wisdom. Fucking Legend of Zelda over here. Okay. So I need to kill. I need to kill the main guy. The Ashcan. The guy guarding the Ashcan. I need to kill this guy, and I need to kill this guy. Sounds easy enough. And a quick save.
and go on in. You are the outlander who blah blah blah. This uses the same dialogue options as before. Very well, this problem has an easy solution. I have nothing to say to you. I despise you and your kind. Go away. <laughs> Well, that was easy. I love how I've started to completely ignore my fatigue problems. Now that my short blade is getting pretty high and my agility is pretty getting getting pretty high, I don't really need as much fatigue as I usually did. The war axe of Aaron on the this is mine now. I can have this. What do you have? Is this a medallion? Hmm. Alright. Uh, do I have like a bounty or anything? No, they attack me first. Hello, you have slain one of my people. You must pay with your life. I did do that. Okay, maybe I do need some fatigue. Uh, give me one of these boys. very easily. Constant effect shield 10. That's interesting. I believe that's basically the equivalent of armor, right? Shield, I think. Uh, while I'm at it, I need to repair my stuff. So this is probably not better than this, but... Could be kind of decent. My medium armor is going up with these lunar things that I have equipped currently. And with my backpack. So my medium armor is leveling, so maybe someday this will be pretty good. Hello. Yep. I sure did that. Constant Effect Fortify Agility 5, and Constant Effect Shield 10. So that's not better than this, or this, but this. I could be convinced that 5 Agility is better than 20 Armor. I'm going to take these just because I think they're unique, but I'm not going to use them. So agility makes you hit more and dodge more. So five agility put me to 108. What would this make my armor? Go down by one? Yeah, that's probably better. May you... Uh, yeah, I killed everyone. Now, with Ulath Paul and his supporters out of the way, it is a simple matter to be named Nerevarine of the Urabinsum. All you need to do is persuade Gulkan Hanamu to become the Ashcan of the Urabinsum. Urabinsum. Seek him out in his Golakyrt. Be prepared, however. Hanamu is not the material one would choose when looking to make an Ashcan. may be difficult to persuade. Three blessings, Sarah. Well, let's see if we can persuade him. He was over here, right? Yeah. Uh, Is there something hello. I can do for you? No matter what Minerai says, I'm not interested. I don't want to be Ashcan. Why not? Yes, I recognize it. Ahaz wore that amulet. Set a kill's heart of fire. Ahaz had it from his father, but Ahaz's father had it from Kinnitu Nila, and Kinnitu Nila had it from Senate Kal, a great witch warrior. 
But what has that to do with my wanting to be the Ashcan? I give him the heart of fire and make a little speech. Thank you, your lesson is clear. It is the amulet that gives courage in battle, and it is the idea of the amulet that gives confidence to the tribe. But it is the Ashcan who wears the amulet, the Ashcan who accepts responsibility for the safety of the tribe, who holds the fate of the tribe in his hands. It's a sobering lesson, and I must give it thought. So what does Menorai says? I don't care what Menorai says, I don't want to be Ashcan. Everyone despises me. I'm a weakling and a coward and a fool. I hate it, but it is true. I just want to be left alone. Uh, yeah. Here, have the axe. Thank you, your lesson is clear. It is the axe that gives strength in war, and it is the idea of the axe that gives confidence to the tribe. It is the Ashcan who bears the axe, the Ashcan who accepts responsibilities for the safety of the tribe, who holds the fate of the tribe in his hands. It's a sobering lesson, I must give it thought. Uh... Please, I don't want to be Ashcan. Don't you understand? I won't be any good at it. I'm going to be a complete failure, and everyone will hate me even more than they do now. Please, I just want to be left alone. Uh, did I not pick up something? Oh, do I need to not be wearing this? Do I need to give him these gauntlets? Did I not pick up something off the corpses? Hold up. Got all this guy's stuff. Got all this guy's stuff. Am I wearing something? Pick up all this guy's stuff. And I picked up all this guy's stuff. So we had these and the hands. Um, I didn't equip anything else, right? You have killed both Paul and his supporters, so you killed them just because of these prophecies. You are mad, I tell you. I am not the Ashcan. I do not want to be the Ashcan. Okay, what if I persuade you? If I get you to a hundred persuasion, that's probably not going to help. Hundred disposition. No, he doesn't. Okay. What so, do what do I need to do here? Welcome, Outlander. This guy doesn't care. Maybe the wise woman can give me a little hint. You hope to persuade Hanamu to become Ashcan. You must find some way to give him strength, willpower, and intelligence. Hanamu is unpopular with the tribe, and he knows it, but if he bore tokens recognized by all the tribe as conserving strength, willpower, and intelligence, it would give him the confidence to accept his responsibilities of tribe leadership. By tokens, I mean well-known tribal heirlooms, objects of power handed down through the generations by Gulkens and Ashkans. Just tokens of marks of power and distinction might give Hanamu the abilities and confidence he needs. Okay, so I gave him, I assume, strength and courage with the medallion and the axe. So I need to give him a token of wisdom, willpower, whatever. Uh -huh. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. So who would give me a token of wisdom? You would give me a token of wisdom because you are the lady, the wise woman, but apparently not. Apparently I need to convince someone else to give me a token. Oh. First, die. Is uh, there something you need? Okay, so this is a problem. Now people are attacking me on site. Well, not on site, but on talk. So how am I going to get this final? Greetings, what is this regarding? A token of wisdom. I don't know what to do for this part of the quest. It's been a long time, and I do not remember. So I need to find...
Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? Okay. I need to find someone who doesn't kill me on sight and can give me a... a token. Okay, well... I'm just gonna murder this entire tribe, am I? Um... I can spare a few moments if you get to talk. I guess I'm now just killing this entire tribe, which is not what I intended to do. thing? Do you want this extra? Nope. Is there some? Uh, hmm. Under sun and sky out. I can spare a few moments if you care to talk. I can spare a few moments for you, too, if you care to talk. Alright, this is not working out. I can spare a few moments if you care to talk. At all. Under sun and sky. So, where do I get this... Third thing. This is annoying. It's not giving me any direction at all. Under sun and sky, so there's something like sitting around here somewhere. It's like a token. Probably not in here. Maybe in the ash can yard? Or any of these, like, tokens of wisdom or whatever? to look up what do you want out what to do here may you but I might have to because I am getting zero direction as to what the final thing I need to give him is oops uh oh oh there we go yeah I'm not getting any direction here I mean, I didn't talk to everybody in here, but I assume they're all just going to attack me on... Yeah. These guys are just... hostile. Yeah. So. You will die. Yeah, these guys don't have anything. So... 
so I don't know what to, I don't know what to give this guy. Um, I guess I can look it up. All right, Google. All right, Benham, some Nerevarine. I need to give him the robe of Uru Dan the Wise. Do I have that? It's apparently supposed to be on Renabi. But I don't have it, and he certainly doesn't have it. I looked. It's not enchanted. It's supposed to be enchanted, but it's not, and I didn't look at it. Here, have a fucking robe. Yes, I recognize it. Renabi wore that robe, the robe of Erudan the Wise. It was handed down to Renabi through his family, but what has that to do with my little wanting to be Ashcan? Here. Thank you. Your lesson is clear. It is the Ashcan who wears the robe. The Ashcan is supposed to be the tribe of blah, 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 blah. Okay. Thank you for your lesson. I shall be Ashcan of the Erebensum, and I do not need the robe. You should keep it for yourself, and if you wish, I shall also name you Nereverine. Name me Nereverine, please. Thank you, Sharia Lightfoot. I promise that, as Ashcan, I shall do my best to amend the dark reputation of the Erebensum. As the first action as chief, I now name you Erebensum Nereverine, champion of the Erebensum and protector of the people. It must also go to the wise woman Manarai and get from her the seizing of the Irina Bensum and enchanted heirloom of the tribe, which shall be assigned to all Dunmer that the Irina Bensum have named you Nerevarine. I can spare a few moments if you. I can. Cool. I get this unenchanted robe that's apparently enchanted in vanilla. Oh, I know why it's not enchanted in this version because it, it uses it gives you fortify intelligence, which. This mod list has taken great pains to remove a Under lot of ways to fortify intelligence. You yeah, can I have my thing? Yeah. So Hanamu has accepted his responsibilities as Ashcan and has named you Erebenimsum Nerevarine. Congratulations, and I must also give you the seizing of the Erebenimsum, a tribal heirloom that ought to be held by our chosen champion as a token that we have named you Nerevarine. Give me this thing. Here, take this enchanted token of the Ernabensum that all may know that we have named you Nerevarine and Champion. What does this do? Cast on use Telekinesis 50 feet. It's quite a distance. It's a belt. Yes. Oh, right. I wanted to test to see if this was working well. I don't think I care about this. Where's the other belt that I was using? This one? Yeah. Or maybe I want to keep this one. I don't know. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. We've now been named Nerevarine of two of the Ashlander tribes, and I only had to slaughter half of the population to do so. Uh, I'm sure this is fine. Next time, we'll be heading to the other two camps, the Zainab camp and the Ahamusa camp, to be named Zainab and Ahamusa Nerevarines. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then.